Hey guys, Edge from Headstone Gaming here. Two things, you can hear the music in the background. This is music from my good friend, he's a member of HSG. However, he goes by Armored Troll. I'll have a link to his SoundCloud in the description. Check him out. Second thing, I meant to do this video yesterday. This is my first impressions of Horizon Zero Dawn. The issue is, I was having a bunch of audio mix issues with uh, the video and getting the audio synced up and everything. So there will be no gameplay on this first impression. Instead, you get a look at this. I know it's horrifying, but whatever. So, Horizon Zero Dawn is the first open world game by Guerrilla Games, if I remember correctly, the first one they've done. It follows a traditional format. It brings nothing new to the table. I do not see an issue with that because everything it does, it has perfected. It hasn't just taken everything that successful open world games have done and just copied it. No, it's perfected it. Now, out of that, you play as Aloy. I guess it's kind of like a coming of age story where you're going to take the test to try and get back into your village. This is like within the first two hours of the game. I'm not doing spoilers. And yeah, so the story up to where I am, I'm, I think my thing says I'm 40% through the game. Uh, it's still a very good story. It's still gripping enough to keep me interested. And I am a stickler for story. Anybody who's listened to me complain about things or gush about things knows I'm a stickler for story. Story is good enough to keep me interested. I can applaud that. Um, different people might uh, not like the story. It's all opinion. Gameplay is amazing. I love it. It feels so good how the stealth works, setting up the traps, going into direct open combat, and like, some encounters you can fully do stealthily. Other encounters you're gonna have to go into open combat. And the transition of how to do this, cause like, there is no like press button to enter out or exit stealth, but yeah, you got crouch, but like, it's not like a whole control scheme difference, of course, thankfully. But what it does do is just like, how I can just like, you're doing this, you're setting up for the combat coming. It's amazing. How it just feels like it's, it, it molds together perfectly. Um, getting into like the things it does that other thing, other open world games have been known to do, um, where you have the crafting elements. Crafting is done remarkably well. Uh, whenever I go foraging for supplies, I can always find, maybe not what I need, but something that will always benefit me. Um, furthermore, I can always, always count on just finding something amazing. Like I can go out with purposes of getting, say, fox skin. And I end up just having this amazing fight against so many machines. And it, it just, it feels so epic. Everything in this game leads to epic. Climbing a tall neck, which are your viewpoints, is amazing. And yes, this is Storm Patrol. Furthermore, beyond that, you have a... I don't know. Like, the game looks amazing. You can't deny that. Everybody, even if you're trying to hate on the game, you can't say it looks bad. It looks amazing. Um... Furthermore, the main character is easily one of the most likable main characters I've played as recently. Uh, I'm not saying Nathan Drake isn't unlikable, but he's kind of like an everyman, so they make him likable. Aloy isn't an every woman. She, she's not. So, you actually have to try to make traits about her likable, and I don't think she's a dull, bland character. There are some things that could have used more fleshing out, but she's definitely a good character. Uh, I have a couple issues with the facial animations and some voice acting, but that's so few and far between, I don't see it a lot. Um, yeah, so in short, this is an amazing open world game that while it doesn't revolutionize open world games, it makes everything about them perfected. Like... Any game that has been open world will have to contend with this as their standard. Now, from what, of course, Breath of Wild releases today, and I've heard things about it. I will be playing it today. I'm actually about to get up and go to GameStop. However, I haven't played it yet, so I can't say anything about that. But currently, 
Games are having to contend, games in the future will contend with Horizon Zero Dawn as the industry standard for this. Horizon Zero Dawn is a great game, possibly a game of the year contender. Contender. It's still too early in the year and the game's lifespan to tell, but this game's amazing. Um, I, mean, I haven't even mentioned everything because it's just like, I would just be sitting here gushing for minutes, 20 minutes, easy, if I just tried to mention everything about this game in a first impressions that has already caught me. It's just like, it's so good. Do yourself a favor if you like open world games. Go out, tr play this game. If you have to buy it, it's $60 well spent. Trust me on this one. I've spent more than $60 on this game because I got my friend the game as well. This game is such a good game. Really trust me on that. Worth anybody's buy, in my opinion. If you like, or of course you have to like the, the genre. So, I hope you've been able to handle this. I probably seem a little too hyped up. I'm, I'm caffeine free, can you believe it? But, uh... This is Edge for Headstone Gaming. I want all of y'all to have a wonderful day, and goodbye!